YouTube has been the best place for people to upload whatever they want for almost two decades. It's been the go-to platform for when you don't want something too short or too long, but just right. And that flexibility mixed with amazing creators has made YouTube the giant it is today. So why is the title shitting all over that? The reason for that is the executives at YouTube have made it abundantly clear how little they care about the people that actually make the platform what it is today. All this has happened in the past month and what I really want to do is to just educate people about some stuff and also just provide a bit of a space to, to vent and kick rocks and punch the wall as hard as possible. So let's talk about this shit show first. Ad blocker ban. Now on paper this honestly makes sense. Ads are what keep YouTube afloat and also what keeps creators afloat because it's what makes them money. So when people block ads no one is making any money and people can easily assume well I, I guess those ad blockers are bad people after all and they only do care about their own convenience I guess. But it's a bit more complex than that. Ads on YouTube are infamous for being, I, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, they're fucking terrible. Scam ads run rampant on YouTube. I think it's really cool how they're usually targeted at little fucking children. And what's even better is YouTube does basically nothing about it. Let me just show you some ads I've screenshotted over time so you know what I mean. Here's an ad I got for a completely original mobile game. Uh, this developer's really taken his time and with blood, sweat, and cum delivered this product to my eyes for me to finally realize they need to be drenched with bleach. Here's an ad that has nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, you can see this might be an adventure game of sorts and has given players the revolutionary option to bathe the women that you want to, f I mean, uh, date. And it really is cool that these ads can be seen by a literal child. Other YouTubers have talked about this quite a lot, and it's really upsetting to see both YouTube and Google not moderating it really in any way, and or at least trying to make it seem a little bit less like porn. But the biggest problem is when ads are malicious. You've probably seen these Mr. Beast scam ads, which are also aimed at children. Really cool. These ads are designed to get you to click on them so that you can fill out mommy's credit card information, and it's gross. And with a free ad blocker, you can get rid of all of these disgusting, downright dangerous ads, and uh, it would be a lot less egregious if they would just implement some sort of moderating system instead of just getting rid of ad blockers. Editor Logahart here. I forgot to mention that ads are so bad and so malicious that the FBI is actually recommending using an ad blocker. So that's kind of insane. It's also insane the amount of ads that you can get on one YouTube video. Let's say you're watching a Sniper Wolf video, God rest your tortured soul, and you see that she always extends her videos to eight minutes at the very least, every single time. Why are her videos always over eight minutes? Well, this is because of a little thing called mineral ads, baby, and they will always be there after her videos reach eight minutes because that's when they appear. So for just one eight minute sniper roll video, you will get a pre-roll ad, a mid-roll ad about four minutes in, and probably an end screen ad very close to the end of the video. So that's three ads for an eight minute video fucking awesome, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you have to suffer through these awful ads on YouTube or pay for YouTube Premium. There are some alternatives that YouTube doesn't really like that much. There's this <clears throat> one ad blocker that still works on YouTube if you <coughs> follow the right instructions. <laughs> or if you're on mobile, you can download certain <coughs> apps that can get rid of the ads too. I, I have a frog in my throat. And for all those people that are just going, hee hee hee, why go through all this effort when I could just get YouTube Premium, a subscription service that removes ads from the platform um, most of the time? Well, the reason for me, and I'm guessing many other people, uh, for why we don't want to pay for YouTube Premium is because it's not fucking worth it. What you get with YouTube Premium is the ad-free content, which is the main thing. But then you've got download videos, which you can already just do for free by looking up YouTube to MP4. You're going to notice this a lot with Premium, where pretty much every other benefit is either something that should be free, or there's already a better alternative for it somewhere else. Background play. This one is mega useless and doesn't even apply to PC users. I mean, Twitch already has something like this for free. And I guess the only time I would use it would be when I'm checking another app for a minute or when I'm getting a text from someone else and want to text and also watch the stream at the same time. Stream all the music you want to hear. Boy howdy, I'm so happy that this is pretty much just the uh, the ad point reiterated again. <laughs> And I mean, can you like, can you imagine if there were other apps that allowed you to play music? 
That, like, that would really make this benefit suck ass. But the cherry on top of this shit cake is maybe about just a week uh, after Neil Mohan and his goons decided to crack down really hard on ad blockers, they decided, you, you know what? What if, uh... What if we also increase the price of YouTube Premium? This is impacting Argentina, Australia, Austria, Chile, Germany, Poland, and Turkey. Really cool. Now, if you're in North America, you might be thinking, well, thank God they're not bringing that shit here where I reside, because then I would be very upset. It's already coming to North America, baby. Yeah, recently a guy checked the premium price from YouTube and it's gone up to $19 instead of $14 for the individual plan and $30 for the family plan, which increased from $23, making it $7 more expensive. Holy mama. This is all just for ad-free content, remember? And it's, it's per month. So if you were to get YouTube premium for yourself for just a year, you would have to pay $228 now just to not get ads. They're currently testing the waters to see if people are, are gonna pay for this or not, which is why it's not for everyone in North America. For the other regions, they're just kind of fucked. And it's just like, it's just so wrong, man. I mean, I've seen, I've seen some people getting charged $43 instead of $23 for the family plan. A fucking $20 increase, an 87% price hike, like Jesus Christ. In short, Please don't pay for YouTube Premium or just cancel the subscription if you already have it because if you keep paying, the executives at YouTube will keep realizing, oh, we can just keep ripping people off and it'll just keep getting worse and worse and worse. And hey, maybe you'll even get an ad telling you to get an ad blocker. There's a lot more I can talk about with this ad block bullshit, but that would take me all day. So let's just talk about the next thing that's just so... Fun, 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 fun. Sniper Wolf. We all know and love Sniper Wolf. Such a fun, quirky, little, light-hearted career. She, uh, she doxed uh, Jack films in front of 5 million uh, Instagram followers. I talked about this in my Credit the Creators video, and I'm going to make it brief for everyone else that's already already up to date, because I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. But basically, Jack has been criticizing her for stealing people's content without crediting them or getting permission and making a um, a fair bit of money from that. That's kind of her whole thing, is just stealing TikToks to react to them. So Jack made a bingo card to A, show how fucking predictable she is, and B, show just how bad her content is, because it really is the same thing every time. So because of this awful awful thing that Jack did. Of course, it's okay for Sniper Wolf to go to his house and uh, dox him in front of millions of her uh, her fans that uh, might might not might not do, be too uh, too happy that he's been criticizing Madame. These brave white knights might think about getting the knife from the kitchen if you know what I'm saying. But what I wanted to talk about is YouTube's response because as a creator, I don't really like the idea of uh, doxing being excused just because she makes YouTube a lot of money. I actually kind of fucking hate that because and not only is that kind of awful, but it's also against YouTube's own TOS. And they can't even argue that, oh, well, this this happened off-platform, so we can't do anything about this, because some of you might remember the Act Man got demonetized for about a month for making a fucking satirical joke tweet about doxing. So if YouTube does something that, like, crazy for a satirical joke tweet, then how are they going to react when, you know, doxing actually happens? What she did was also illegal. And uh, because of all of this, a lot of people, and me, me included, have wanted her completely removed from the platform. She's kind of just a dangerous creator at this point. Um, I don't really like that she's able to just dox people like that. <laughs> YouTube took a full week to just tell us something and well, what, what was their response a temporary monetization ban god god damn it that's already bad enough but i'm i'm gonna be honest i've never distrusted youtube more after this they said the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on youtube but which is it's like what the fuck do you mean both sides jack has done this in the most inoffensive way possible. He makes her look bad by showing her content. It's kind of a power move, and I, I respect it a lot. He doesn't constantly mock her or harass her in really any way. He just criticizes her content, and she looks bad because of her content. And after this, more stuff started to come out about how she had a video where she pressured teenagers to do sexual things. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fucking awesome. Let's get the little guy too. You know, things 
you would do as a, a grown woman. This shit has been on YouTube for about a decade at this point, and she's just now starting to realize, ah, oh, I should I should probably not have that on my channel. It's gotten so bad that people have made a bot called the t t t takedown tracker where it uh, it basically tracks all of the videos that she's been removing. Videos have been fully monetized, uh, by the way, and have been on YouTube for years. And this is where I get fucking pissed because it's getting pretty obvious that someone at YouTube is helping her directly try to take down these videos because a lot of these are an, a very obvious, clear violation of, of TOS. And YouTube can now just say, oh, well, well, we can't really uh, do anything about a video that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's, that's too bad. YouTube's lack of action on this has allowed Sniperwolf to delete the evidence because if there's no video on YouTube, no community guidelines strike. It's fucking disgusting, and I, I don't know. I, I just, I've never seen such an easy slam dunk for YouTube. Almost every other time they fucked up, you could at least say that they were being stupid or didn't know any better. Getting rid of the dislike button. Oh, well, we're trying to protect people from dislike raids, but you're sacrificing people being able to see if a video is actually well received or not. And there's already a fucking dislike extension to bring the dislike back. So like, I, I, like why? But this is the easiest point blank. YouTube, you need to do something about this that I've ever seen. And of course they don't, of course they don't because money. They can't make that same bullshit response that they always make where it's like, oh, but, but like with ad blockers, oh, billions, billions of people are, they, they depend on ads because money and stuff. It's like with this, um, there's kind of nothing. Like, you're not protecting anyone. You just kind of look like a giant piece of shit now. As for Sniper Wolf's response, I mean, what do you fucking expect at this point? It's just some half-assed chat GPT garbage. She couldn't even spell Jack's channel name right. It's it's Jack's Films Sniper Wolf. You know, the guy that's been criticizing you for months and you can't get his name right? The guy that you dox? I, I swear, I, I swear this was written by chat GPT. She's not sorry that she committed a literal fucking crime. She's sorry because she got caught. She was joking about the doxing thing on her Instagram. She's not sorry, dude. And it is pathetic seeing how desperately YouTube is just scrambling to, to put it under the rug. Don't let anybody else see that. Good thing, though, is that Jack is back and he's doing okay. He's transitioning from criticizing her to uplifting smaller creators' videos with uh, proper consent, uh, credit, all of the above. So he's been doing okay, but there's definitely been a lot of damage from this. And I hope that at the very least people don't forget about this. They don't forget about how Sniper Wolf is awful and YouTube is such a disgusting piece of shit. Neil Mohan is the reason that ad blockers are starting to get blocked. He was in charge of monetizing sites before he became CEO, so he is the one that should be getting a lot of criticism. Not harassment, Guys, we're not fucking animals. I'm saying this because I'm really sick of these executives just being able to hide behind the word YouTube. This isn't even all of it either. I mean, like, I'm I'm now seeing that YouTube's ad blocker ban might actually be uh, violating privacy laws in the EU, and Sniper Wolf is copying her entire format from someone else. Like, come, come the fuck on, man. Like, there's that... It's a whole nother bag of worms. I haven't even talked about like personal shit with YouTube, like the whole, the classic flatlining garbage. Basically where you make a video, goes up and then psh, flatline because fuck you. There's no reason behind it. It's just, it just happens and it's super demoralizing and it makes me not want to make videos. Just wanted to say that too. Hopefully you got something out of this. I really just wanted to make a video to educate people about ad blockers and YouTube's garbage and Sniper Wolf and maybe provide a venting spot. Say <laughs> All of this has just made it pretty hard to even want to make videos on this increasingly shitty platform. But I'm going to try to make some more fun videos soon unless YouTube decides to be a, just a big piece of shit again. Remember kids, ad blockers are pretty cool, Sniper Wolf is awful, and YouTube is slowly killing itself with these awful, awful decisions. So cool dude, I'm 200 subs away from being monetized too. That'll be fucking awkward. Hey, hey guys, can you, can you please watch my ads? Please watch my ads so I can make some money. Yeah, I guess Patreon will be my, my career path next. Thanks, Neil.